The small courtroom was full on Tuesday as 35-year-old Dakota Amber Ray faced her sentence, 20 years each for two counts of sexual battery to be served concurrently. But every now and then you have these cases that come along that you have to dedicate two people to, take everything away from them, let them spend all the time on that so that you can get done what needs to be done. The mother of two young boys, Ray, pleaded guilty to those two counts on Friday, confessing to the charges. This has been a, uh, going on for about two years now, and during the course of this investigation, um, uh, facts came out and the investigation revealed and evidence came forward, which uh, resulted in the indictment of Dakota Ray for two counts of sexual battery. The case was one that hit home especially hard for investigators and prosecutors who worked it. This one has been very personal for me. I have children about that same age and it's just, it, it is tough to see. It's disturbing. It's, it's hard for law enforcement and uh, our attorneys uh, to see this day in and day out. It affects everyone and this is one of those that we will think about probably for the rest of our lives. In his closing statement, ADA Scott Rahelio told Ray's oldest son that he was a hero for his testimony. Ron and I went out there to Texas to interview him. Uh, this is before the indictment. Um, you know, we needed him, and, and we meant that. We didn't know what, how he was going to do. And, and I said it out on the record. If it was a baseball game, he knocked it out of the park. Um, this little boy was so strong and that he's, he's told his story and he stuck with his story even when it was his mom that, that he knew he was sent into prison. Ray's youngest son, Drake, died a suspicious death in April 2019. Authorities say that case is still under investigation. At the Madison County Courthouse for Dark Horse Press, I'm Therese April.